What is up, Disc Golf fans? We are Gatekeeper Media, and we are bringing you back nine coverage of round three of the 2019 Las Vegas Challenge, presented by Innova Disc. This coverage is always sponsored by Millennium Disc, as we are coming up to the end of moving day. About to have the cut a lot of the people are in. We're down to the big guys now. Yeah, and that's all you were hearing all, all day is, oh, the cut this, the cut that. So it's, you know, a lot on everybody's mind today. Yeah. Uh, most of these guys, unless something catastrophic happens, should be able to make this cut. It's, we see all green here. Uh, Eric Oakley, really hot front nine. Yeah, starting to starting to kind of distance himself a little bit. Yeah, we I, I would we'll say. I would hope so. Big shout out to him. It's Calvin still pretty big lead overall. I see Paul McBeth came up there. Josh Anthon still hanging around. Dustin Keegan, pretty hot round for him as he's popped up in that leaderboard. We move into hole 10, 378 feet, par 3. Only one that really has water come into play. And uh, if you haven't already seen from Central, this is one present lace. Yeah, that we were standing right in front of. We yeah. heard it as yeah. it happened. They were the card right behind us. Yeah. Damn. Now, with this hole, the water is definitely avoidable. Uh, you're going to give yourself a lot more distance that way, but, you know. You could throw to the left of that tree over there, kind of. Um but most righties, I think... I mean, these guys are going to run it just like that. I would say as an AM player, though, like I, you could definitely go the route that Oakley's about to go with a forehand. Not really have to worry about water at all. Yeah, just playing it safe right up the middle. So Eric, really good front nine, like we said. He was six down through nine. He's really been making every putt. We gave him a rewind. And you can definitely tell his form has changed a little bit, and he talked about working on it, and we brought that up before. Is he's looking like a new man out there this season. Now it's Russell sitting in 20th, but only two strokes behind Eric, who's sitting in 4th. So Unbelievable. We, yeah. Still anyone's game out here. Well, that's why I'm so, so happy that we were able to come out here and... and provide added coverage and it just happened to be this tournament that they had third card for you it was yeah. perfect so Eric's is going to land in should be an easy putt for yeah, him so far so good for everybody all well within the circle yeah I actually I had a lot of trouble filming this hole yeah I think this was exactly? the hard I really couldn't see uh, so I didn't know whether washed out no not even that it was like look from the T oh yeah looks like AB slipped yeah for sure so it's going to go really far to the left. It still fights its way back into the circle, though. Even the on circle's his, edge, yeah. Even on his most challenging drives, he still manages to make it look easy. Ooh. Eric's feeling it, and he's still knocking putts down. Good to see from him. But yeah, from where so, it was, I didn't. I thought everyone was going to be coming more over the water, and like it was a blind. So how I had the camera set up, everyone was going really far to that left side with the forehand. Didn't really catch him until last minute. Ooh. Can we still call it a turkey if it straddles the two nines? Because that would be one for Oakley, wouldn't it? Uh, two two yeah. uh, for eight, nine, yeah, and te ten. Technically. Do we still call it that? Yeah, because <laughs> you played through 18. We're the ones but who... But in the post-produced world... <laughs> We're the makers of our own. Mark, I don't know. <laughs> Marty's able to sink that. Good putt from him. Alex for his birdie. So AB gonna present or uh, prevent the star frame. I blame the slip on the tee box, and yeah. I think he does too. Given yeah. that reaction, frustrating. We're going to move into hole 11. We're at par four at 565 feet. Uh, this one, we're coming back on the waters now on the right side, so I guess that does come into play. But you could pitch out right in front of this OB here, and then you have a pretty technical upshot, or you can kind of go up and over everything if you're able to. You have options. Yeah. Marty owning the box. 
it's crazy. Right. The so the way that it looks like it's gonna pull so much to the left and then mm -hmm. just flattens out and glides. It's yeah. really awesome. He's got an arm. Yeah, really good touch. So he drops that right in front of the green. To the left, that could pose a threat, depending on how the look and the trees are there to the left. Yeah, I was gonna say it did look a little obstructed. This is textbook from Alex. Claim it safe and short. Yeah. You have a better look from there. And if you have an arm like uh, Anthony here, you can definitely try to go across the green, I guess. As he turns that, we're going to see a red flag, mm. but I appreciate the effort. As this is right when they hit the ace, funny enough, crossing. Looking good. Yeah, that'll putt. Yeah, good shot. Coming in hot, yeah. That'll definitely be a challenge for Marty. <laughs> yeah. Not not a clean look and pretty good distance. No. Barella, a long look, but possible. So it looks like Eric has a back door. Gonna go to the left of this tree. That is beautiful. Man, he is feeling it. Yeah, and a nice little little roll right up there, too. Yeah, we're seeing some good golf from him. From my angle on the last night, it looked like Marty was farther down the hill, but it didn't really seem like it was that big of a elevation change there. Alex for the birdie. Ooh. That's the first splash out for him. Yeah, that was an unexpected splash out on Alex's part. I w we are noticing that uh, a lot more people are kind of in the obstructed areas, like under trees or kind of within a little bit more heavy rough on this course. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it does play a lot different. Each course varies pretty significantly here. Yeah. And I really like this course and, and the design of it. And I for reasons that you just kind of brought up is I feel like this course has a weird I don't know you feel like you're caved like you're, you're caved in if you go off the fairway in your scramble game like you're a like, lot of tight areas here. yeah tight tee pads but if you know your shots like it's it's all still fair mm -hmm. it's very fair Yeah, anything from the green all the way back on like hole three to something like this. Yeah, a lot of holes that just the guardian trees, everyone's blocked up. We're gonna take a, take a look at some of the previous winners. Some of those names are working their way up. Like I said, Wasaki putting up an awesome round with Beth. Yeah, and it's well. awesome. It's awesome to see that like you know Sunset was the course that we heard about everyone mentioned something about sunset mm -hmm. while we were out there all the locals love that course so it's inter interesting to see that you know it w wasn't always at this course and that it actually i would assume the gentleman's club challenge was the majority of it was there yeah so it's only since uh 2016 has it been here at wild horse yeah so it's still a fairly new course yeah and being new to the nt circuit I mean, it's definitely here to stay. Well, I would, great I would say, you know, having kind of driven past Sunset, mm -hmm. it is a much smaller course in comparison. Yeah. So. I think a good way to start the season out on a big open course and just throwing bombers. But there's still there's still some technical spots here too. That's what I I am. I'll say it again. I am a fan of this course overall. The the. All three courses, rather. Mm -hmm. Marty. It's a good shot. I almost lost that, and that was 
being disoriented looking through the camera there. So Alex is going to fade. But with most of the par 4s or par 5s, I should say, on this course, you just really just get out there in the middle of the fairway. If you're Barella and you're risky, you can throw a roller. There's too many hills out there for my liking for that. And that's looking pretty good. If it was able to stay on that tree line, uh, that would have been nice. That's it did look like it was kind of rolling away from the fence a little bit. Yeah. And Alex so, fell there. Yeah. So that's the second time we saw someone fall this... It wasn't even raining this day. No. Feel like I was a little closer than than it was. Yeah. Too close for comfort. Only par five on the all three courses. Coming in at nine hundred some feet. Yeah. As Eric goes with the roller. Oh. Huh. He's going to have a really long look for Eagle. 9.37. So I was able to catch the majority of that. And then up against the sky, I lost it. It looks like. Yeah, he's kind of up by those trees up there. Kind of near that house and the fences over there. Still pretty long. Yeah, but that's for your eagle, so. So Alex gets down there. Eric decides to just lay up. At this point, why even try to run it? Take your four. Marty with the crush. Got to run that. Pretty tough look for Barella. Oh. Tight area to shoot from and then to hit off cage. That's yeah. still locked on. Yeah, I feel like he hasn't really made a lot of putts so far, and it's something that it's he's getting closer and closer. So Alex is gonna make that. He's kicking a kick, pine cone kick or something. Yeah. <laughs> Love getting outside and challenging yourself to become better? How about spending time with family and friends, or just marveling at the pure joy of flight? Then you've come to the right place at the right time. Join the PDGA. Moving in the hole 13, this is the number one hardest hole with only 15% fairway hits. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gotta be because of the sand dune. And I think a lot of people here aren't even really running this because of that. It's probably a lot of just safe golf pitched up and then take Yeah, your, I mean if it was if it was like another I don't know, seventy feet and a par four. It could be a little more aggressive than that, but Yeah. Then it would be too easy of a hole. As Eric's rolls back into the middle of the fairway, it was really far to the right. And that's what I'm talking about. Is I mean even there he still definitely has some work. Yeah, but not really as dangerous. No. It looks like Marty is gonna kind of take what we would expect, just kind of throw up out there. Yeah, this is this is one of the holes where you just want to play smart every shot. Have, yes. a, have a little bit of less of of options. So Alex has been working his way up. He's been teetering around that twenty to fifteen place range. Jesus his lines right up there. Now the only one who I would expect to go for this is gonna be this kid. See him do it then. Yeah. Hey, he's he's about to. He's motioning. Yeah. He wanted it to get left. Yeah. I don't 
right. it might have he'll, been a saving grace. Yeah, he'll he'll have a look. I mean, he actually went past the the pin. Marty, we've seen him been seeing him do this for two rounds now. It's just pitch just up and just utilizing that green. Yeah. That might be the first official jump putt we've seen the yeah. entire tournament yeah, so seriously. far. Yeah, seriously. Everybody's been stepping thus far. And there's another one. All right. Take your three, take your medicine. I really want to see Barella knock one of these putts down. He's been so close literally the entire round. We just haven't seen any... Dang, uh, yet. Uh, sit. Uh, All right, well. He can come back from that, but. The three there from Alex. AB had potential for the two. As long as you're not going over, I think it's yeah. a, it's, it's a, a win. Yeah, you never know. I mean, he could have airballed that, could have rolled over onto the green. like In the hazard, yeah. Yeah, anything could have happened. So far, he's just been missing. If we look back, outside the circle, putts are he's getting so close. Now, for being pretty short in the, in the tour game, 110 career events, that's up there. Yeah, 25,000 earnings. Yeah, so. what, just, just shy of... 25%. That's pretty good. <laughs> I right. like those numbers. All right. We move into hole 14. This is a par three coming in at 441 feet. Do have to worry about this green here to the left, but the bass is kind of pitch under these trees. So Guardian and some OB. Yeah. So pretty tight green. I comes in a pretty tough hole. I don't expect anyone to really get in there. I might kind of bail out to the right, kind of what Eric's doing. Some obstacles. Yeah, it's a safe play though. You can have a really finessed touch shot, shot from there and just play for your three. Marty was going for it. I was like, whoop! Uh, uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. This is the second time. It shows how quick my feet are. <laughs> That's close enough yeah. to put a bit on it for sure. Yeah. Kind of right in front of it, straight down, straight down the lane. So Perella is sitting in 19th currently. This is going to be a big hyzer, yep. I almost had it the whole time until I just saw the trees. You saw me kind of back up because I was afraid. Yeah, and the tree ate it. it uh, like. Yeah. It actually it kind of went a little too far to the right as we're going to see on this next shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. But he has an open look. Is that a cart path OB? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, so he's flirting with that, it looks like, a little too. So, good bid, but he's going to take his three. So Alex really the last, last hope for a birdie. Oh. Did drop him right underneath, though. Yeah. Because we're going to see a lot of threes, a lot of tap-ins. Just going to say, everybody get in line to tap in. I like this part of the course because you kind of take a loop back to where hole one is. Yeah. And it's kind of like a little cool area for Tournament Central and everything. Oh, Calvin really... Really running away with it, still maintaining that six uh, six stroke difference. Yeah, but it's it's really nice to see Dustin Keegan pop up there, sitting in second now. Yeah, and I I, I want to shout him out again. He uh, him and Zoe were were really kind and kind of talking through the walk through our first day, and we got some pretty good insight from them. So thanks, guys. Yeah, we got to hang out with them, which is really cool. This is the I'd say the tightest green on the entire course. Uh, you have OV on all sides of you. This is all about really finesse, touch, and distance. 
As Eric gets down there. I'm good out of Marty's hands. Might fade a little early. No. Pin high. Yeah. It's unfortunate. You can, thought he was going to hit one of those little trees. Well, anything can happen sometimes. Yeah, anything can happen. Alex. He's going to have a long look. Tried to fight through with the roll there at the end, but stops just short. Uh, going big, Heiser. They're very difficult to cover. Yeah. You can see how wide I was just to get it. See, he's going to land a little bit in front of Alex. But if you have that in your arsenal, I mean, it's a good shot because you, you can always just like tombstone. You know, don't have to worry about any rollaways. Skip outs. So those rocks behind him are OB. Well, it looks like he has the tree a little bit in front of him. Could it's put a, it's, it looks like it's directly in the middle of him <laughs> and the basket. Yeah. So should be a challenging putt. And he sinks it. Nice. With almost no room in those branches. Yeah. Did he throw it, like, through the tree? It looked like it. I'm seeing some movement. Huh. That's impressive. Yeah, that was very interesting. I'd say the spin that he put on it probably helped carry it through there. Yeah. Good putt from Marty. Nice two. The rest of these guys will be taking their three. Getting close to the end here for round three. At this point, I think these guys are probably checking U disc and seeing where the cut is and what they need to get to. Uh, seeing if they're already in and that sort of thing. Hole 16, par 4 at 723 feet. You do have OB to the left. You have the screen here on your second shot back to pose a threat as well. Yeah, that's an understatement. You can have some severe roll away on the back end of this. <laughs> so Marty's still with a box, sitting at 15th at 24 under. Big. Oh, and that just keeps carrying. Yeah, big shot from Marty. Brella so <laughs> kind of been up and down so far. And that really nice birdie on the last hole. As he crushes it even better than Marty. See, he actually hits that tree over there. If you see an opening, take it. Let her rip. Eric. His needs to stable out. Ugh. I mean, still, good distance. We'll see how his footing is over there with that tree. It looks like Alex is going to take the forehand. It's interesting. Only one on the, on the card to do that. Yeah, not nearly as much distance. But nonetheless, in the yeah, nonetheless, still in a good spot. Ooh. All right. That's a putt. He's got decisions to make here, though. Yeah. <laughs> so Eric's sitting in eighth. Shooting He's... from inside of a tree. Yeah. And really far to the left. That's going to yeah. be tough. And that's going to have to be a par play. Yeah. And he's been having such a good round, too. So. Yeah. Barella, he's, what, almost 
but I feel like pin high on a 700 foot hole. And Zeeb definitely leaves himself some more room. He's It's not going to be an easy putt. Marty with the biggest crush. Doing, doing what, text, text yeah, book just up. doing what Marty does. Seems like everybody made found found their way uh, underneath some some brush. Yeah. Fortunately for Eric, that's the second time in a row. So A B for the bird. Slightly uphill on this the crest. bird. Yeah. Potential roll away on the back end. He sinks it. Nice putt. You know he's feeling good about that one. Yeah. A little pep in his step. Yeah. yeah. He's feeling good about that one. Look. It's interesting he holds a, his other putter when he putts, which I know some people do that. Yeah, I've heard mainly because when you're practicing your putting, you're holding a stack with you when you're, when you're shooting. Mm -hmm. So when you step up and you're ready to putt, you want to kind of emulate what it is that you're routinely doing. Big ups to Alex there for that putt, too. Well, I think it's cool that I, I'm throwing the Scorpius just for the simple fact that they produce them. It's a disc that's very similar to the Destroyer. It has a really similar feel since it was based off of the original Destroyers. It's just uh, not as overstable, I would say, for, for guys that don't have as much power. This is, this is basically, you know, a long range, multi-purpose shooter, whether it be backhand or forehand. This disc was vital right off the bat. All right, big shout out to Millennium Disc for helping us make all this possible. So we have two holes left, hole 17. I would say one of the most technical holes, most heavily wooded hole here coming in at only 295 feet. You have a gap you have to hit here initially. Could go over the top though if you want. Yeah, we're starting to feel a little more like home on this one. Yeah. It's a little, uh, bringing you some woods golf this time around. Blind look, too, for I think both of us. Oh, yeah, I'd, yep. <laughs> I wasn't seeing anything close to where you were, but you were able to catch pretty good, I think. Good shot for Marty. Yeah, we didn't have any, any downtime between either of us either. That's always good to see. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's. Unpredictable out there. Umbrella. I like that. <laughs> Up and over, yeah. See Coming down there. with force. Yeah. It's a little short. It'll play. Alex let him go forehand. You can tell he's primarily forehand uh, when he feels comfortable with it. He's going to take it. And I can see why. For reasons just like that. <laughs> Beautiful park. Um, so after he shot this one, I, you know, I had asked him what exactly that was, and he goes, "Well, whatever this one is," and shows me the thumber. I was like, uh, you know, flipped over and it got you there. Yeah, and he parks it even closer <laughs> than Alex did. I didn't even know that he was going to do that. I was thinking he was going to go down the gap. I was not expecting Oakley to go over the top. There's, a, there's an example of, you know, keeping different things in your arsenal. Yeah. Pharrell finally lands a really good one. Bringing it Yeah, back. he's Yeah, he's been... It's nice to see him land that. That's good. Yeah. We, we should see that again. Yeah, let's rewind it for you. Smooth form. Yeah, all around. He's just Solid been... connection in the middle of the chains. I don't know how many times he's hit the basket or he's been so close to hitting the basket. And he made a really nice putt on 16 and then 17. He, he's going to get it. Well-deserved rewind. Yeah, he's starting to pick up here right at the end. Tough break for Marty. Bannon off there, sitting to the right of the basket. And that's a beautiful tap in there for Oakley. And Alex will get a birdie as well. So two tap in birdies on this hole 17. And Marty preventing the star frame. 
Sorry, Mark. Quick look at Eric. Only three wins in his career, which blows my mind. At tw still twenty-five thousand earnings, so that just shows he's putting up really events. That or he's just consistently coming in those like top three podium placing spots, and he's bringing home big money, just never getting the big thumbs. So he's gonna have a really good year. I can feel it. Never keeps the electric. <laughs> Hole 18, final hole here for the factory store. Of course, it's par four, 573 feet. I would say fairly pretty easy hole. So now I was in contact with uh, Scott, the assistant TD, mm -hmm. um, and he had gave a little insight on who is doing the LVC graphics or uh, you know the layouts, um, and it's. The drones? So, no, the people laying. Oh, creating. The, the people who are doing that? Yep, so it was himself and, and um, our lovely TV, TD. Oh, and yeah? then some of the uh, the volunteers as well. Oh, cool. I thought you were talking about the people who were making the video. No, and I was no, like, no. Uh, They're flying and laying down. Yes. Yeah. So, that doesn't sound safe. Pretty textbook, just pitch out into this open spot. And then you have a pretty easy upshot knowing that you have that hillside on the back. Oh no. It's going really far to the right. Oh no. Those spectators oh. were. Oh, that's going to be out. As that's a big misstep there for Eric right at the end. I mean, that one stroke in itself could be all the difference from lead card and fourth card. <laughs> Smarty's going out to the left there on the fairway. Eric for his third shot. He's going to park it. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be a par, but it's a good way. Good way to end it. Marty doing Marty things. <laughs> oh, Marty. So Alex has kind of had a up and down round. He started off really hot, kind of got stale there in the front nine. Took a couple birdies here on the back as well. Gives himself some room for a, for a tap in, though. So Barella sitting at eight under now. So he, I would say, had a pretty slow front nine and really picked up here at the end. It's going to be another birdie. And that's going to be four birdies in a row to finish it out. 26 under, coming in at 11th place. And no red for him? No red. There was actually no red for anyone. No bogeys this entire round uh, for our card here. That's awesome to see. Yeah. We have the lovely gallery here. Yeah, Marty. Marty. Putting up a nine as well. A red for him, sitting at 26 under. Some good grouping there as well, where Alex finds his uh, his birdies a little spread apart a little more. Yeah, he got he picked it up there at the end as well. Eric had a this really <laughs> yeah really really hot front nine. He actually put up a hot 10 under. We'll take a look as Marty, Barella, and Oakley all sitting at 11, all at 26. Alex. Only one stroke behind them. Still a really tight race as we're going to take a look at the leaderboards. Calvin still with six strokes, but I'm excited. I know everyone else should be excited. We're coming down to the round that everyone wants to see. Oh, yeah. Final round of LVC. We have the crush Some crushers, boys. yeah. Yeah, we're going to have Eagle. We have Simon. We have Kale. We have final round of LVC. Yeah, so stay tuned. All right, take care.